Good morning. To begin with today, I want you to think back to the start of the new school year. Now, can you remember some of the things that you did to get ready? Maybe you needed to get some school supplies. Maybe you needed to get some clothes. Or maybe you needed to figure out who your teacher was or even start a new sleep schedule so you would be ready. One reason you and your family get things ready at the start of the new school year is so you'll have everything you need to do well in class. You see, the idea is that once you have everything you need, then you'll be able to pay attention to everything that is happening. For instance, if you're prepared, then you have pencil and a piece of paper and you're ready to take notes when the teacher starts talking. Not looking for that pencil and missing everything that she said or he said. You see, this idea about being ready, about being prepared, is exactly what Jesus is telling his disciples today in our Bible story. He tells them to be ready and prepared to be alert and awake and the reason we are reading this scripture today is because today is the first Sunday of a new church year yep just like school starts a new year every year church does too and today is the first day in the new church calendar, in the new church year. And helpfully, the church actually starts with some built-in preparation time, some time to get ready. And we call it Advent. Today is the first Sunday in Advent. Advent is the time in which we, as a church, prepare for another year of reading, discussing, and listening to stories about Jesus and his teaching. One of the reasons we prepare for a new church year is the same reason that you prepare for a new school year so that we won't miss a single thing Jesus, our teacher, has to share with us. Some of the ways we prepare is by reading and talking about the stories that remind us of Jesus' life and ministry and what that is meant to do, what Jesus wants us to do, what he's telling us. During Advent, we also get ready to celebrate his birth. And as we do these things, then we are better prepared to hear and respond to Jesus' message of good news and new life. That his way, that God's way, is available today, right now, for us to live. That's the good news as we begin this Advent season. Can we say a prayer? Dear God, please help us to get ready for Jesus' birth, for his life, for his teachings, so that we can learn and then live the life that you would have us to live. In your most precious name we pray. Amen. Y'all have a great week, and I hope to see you soon.